uh, set the ground frequencies up uh, on the number two because your antenna is on the roof on the number two. Your antenna is on the belly on the number one. So you get slightly better reception on the number one in the air. So just what do you mean idea. the ground frequency? Huh? What do you mean the ground frequency? Anything you use on the ground, clearance delivery, uh, okay. ground control uh, should be over here. And anything you typically use in the air, you should be using over here. Gotcha. Most high performance aircraft are like that. Okay, so it's making the turn at Westminster, so we're officially on the approach, aren't we? So there's six steps to successfully getting on any approach. Activate the approach, flip the frequency from standby to active, flop to VLOC, not yet. Oh. Set the course, ID the course, and then arm the autopilot. And those are the six things that have to be done. We consider, since it's a flow, we only consider w which things to do. Uh, we don't rotely do them in that order. And, okay. and a checklist would would require that we have a checklist for every situation. But with a flow, we've got no such problem. We we consider it each and every time, same way, each and every time. And don't let anybody talk you out of it. All right, so now we're going to ask ourselves the question, questions, which way, how low, what's next? And that takes a piece of paper. Which way, how low, well, which way, on the inbound course? Uh, right now, are we going the right way? Oh, uh, we're going the right way. We are? Yeah. Okay, I'm happy. You happy? Well, I mean, we're not going towards the airport. Well, we're, <laughs> we're going the right way. It looks like we're going towards Numbi, yeah. Yeah, so how do you know you're going the right way? You're on a magenta line, you got the approach correctly loaded. But you could activate, we've done that. The reason we know it's active is because there's a magenta arrow inside the approach banner. Flip. What's the frequency? Frequency is 110.3. I've already flipped it. Okay. Got flop. Here. Can't flop it because we're using GPS. Right. Can't set the course. Yours is an EHSI. It'll set automatically anyway, but we yeah. do have to verify it. I put it on my heading bug just so I would remember which what it was. That's fine. It's called cleaning up the bug. That's fine. And I set it over here, too. Okay, good. And on this one, it's going to be partial panel. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to okay. take away the glass. Typically, I wait until I've been cleared for the approach to arm the approach. Is that a... That's, that's appropriate. That's okay. the way I do it, too. All right. Same way every time. That way you never get confused. And I turn on the landing light when I have a clearance to land, or a clearance to take off, as the case may be. Don't forget to switch the fuel tanks. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know that I could go to an airplane where you had to do that. <laughs> that was one thing that bothered me about the King Air, but... Apparently you don't really have to do it or something in the 90, I don't know, but... On the TBM the same way, it switches automatically. They said they adjust the they, they adjust the fuel by adjusting the burn on the engines, and so they never have to worry about it. Yeah. You can cross-feed most. Okay, what's next? Well, at this point, I would imagine they'd be clearing me for the approach. Oh, you are cleared for the approach, sorry. Yeah. And then I'd arm the approach. Oh. And then switch to OBS. <laughs> well, did it... Well, I, I wouldn't be in a big hurry to arm the approach yet. No. Yeah, so you want, you want, your, uh, you want your guidance, don't you? Go ahead, switch back for a moment. That's it. Because remember, this is a localizer approach. Yeah, so until I pick up the localizer? Yeah, so wait till you intercept and then switch it. And of course, you've got to flip and flop. You have to do both. See, this will make the turn it. automatically. It's down here, right? Yeah. So it wouldn't make what, the turn if I took speed? it off then? Oh, it'll make it, but it's it's going to be kludgy because it's not a 30 degree turn. Imagining it's lower than this. 2,800. All right, so we forgot which way, how low was the second question, and what's next? 2,800. Uh. Yeah, so 
Yeah, they're going down, get the power back to 300, and uh, get out the speed brakes. Just kidding. Alright, autopilot's coming off. And uh, I'll take that panel away from you. Lovely. Okay, feed the donut, fly to the cross. Feed the donut, fly to the cross. Your cross is over there on the left. Over here? Yeah, fly down to that cross. Now I'm hearing a beep. I don't know what that is. Here. Okay, what do we want to do about that? Well, uh, put the gear down. All right. Gear, flaps, power to 300. I don't know what the power is. That uh, should be at 300, shouldn't it? <laughs> now, how will you know it's at 300? What should the airspeed be? Watch your turning now. Be careful. Fly to the cross. Be the donut. Fly to the cross. Altitude 200 to go. And Frederick Unicom 22.7? Yeah. Altitude. Oh, is that the correct frequency for Frederick? I don't know. Well, check on the chart for me. Check altitude. Unicom 122725. All right, I've successfully distracted you, so yeah. be careful. Fly the cross now. I'm all over. You, you need to fly to that cross. Don't let it go full deflection. Up, up, up. That's it. Yeah, Frederick Traffic, it's uh, 209 Sierra Tango. Uh, traffic Advisory, please. Correction, Unicom. Traffic Advisory, please. You're chasing it. Suggest a, a, a good, solid, standard rate turn to the right. As soon as the needle stops, go another three seconds, then stop the turn. Standard rate, please. I don't think that's the right frequency. Okay, we're full deflection now. So let's go missed. Huh? Where are we? Oh, I see it. Okay. It's a uh, climb and turn... Uh, Turn left to a heading of uh, zero nine zero. Toga, pitch and power. Clean it, trim it, autopilot on. Get that done first. Now start your turn. Press, press. Heading, heading. And now start your turn with Where your, do you want to go yeah, to? Zero nine zero. Good. Now, get your chart out, and let's see if we can find a correct frequency. Altitude, 1,000 to go. One to go. Oh, it says Unicom's 122.72. 0.72? 0.72, okay. well, it's 7.25, yeah. There, now you that's, got that's it. That's what that says, yeah. Okay. Frederick Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. One eight golf. Uh, there you got it. Taking the runway for the westbound departure.